So we are going to look at our, hang on a second here, let me go back out. And let's get down here to business. So we're going to look at our apps here, and this is the one we're going to look at. It's called Photo Card. And on Photo Card, we have the ability to create postcards, and that could be really kind of a cool thing in the classroom when you're trying to do a unit on maybe writing, but also um, that will incorporate maybe social studies or science. And let's talk about things like biomes. So if we created a postcard that talked about a biome, this might, you know, this is kind of a, a neat activity. So it's called Bill Atkinson's Photo Card. I'm going to open it, and this is an, uh, one I did already, and I'm just going to go here and I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to erase the card contents, and now I'm going to, it's going to ask me, and I'm going to, I have the option to take a photo, so you see what happens here. So if I were out, and students were out and about, they could go and um, do one of these on their own by taking a photo, but what we're going to do is we're going to look and see if there's any things that we like. So we're going to pretend that we're talking about maybe seasons and the fall. So here we are, a beautiful fall picture, and then we're going to go, and this is just the front of our photo card, and what we're going to do is we're going to flip this photo card over, and down here on the bottom, you'll see here it says flip, flip, and now I can talk about fall things that I've learned about fall. So, I can pretend I'm sending a card to somebody. Dear Mom, pretend I'm at camp. And at this point, this is where I could get into what I've learned. So I could talk about um, how plants change. I could talk about hibernation, I, things that are starting to happen right before winter happens. Um, I'm not going to bore you with those details. But to complete my card, and let's get my keyboard out of the way. I have a couple other things I can do. And I can go here. And if I click up here, it's going to let me choose a stamp. I can go in here and find myself a, a cool stamp that would kind of fit the occasion. So maybe if I'm talking about plant life and chlorophyll, this would be a good way to um, put that stamp in here. Then maybe I want to add a sticker. And so down here at the bottom, and I'm going to move this little thing here. It's kind of in our way. We have the option to add a sticker. So I'm just going to add one. And let's see here. What's a... Um, There's lots of stickers. Then we'll find a cool bird or something, since we're talking about fall. Or an animal. I'm scrolling down. Some of these may not. Oh, here we go, a leaf. That's great. So I'm going to move this back down and move this over here out of the way. I'm going to reposition this. Excuse me. And I'm going to take my sticker. Let me just with my finger move it. And then over here I have the ability to add an address. Now notice I have a contact book. So if I wanted to, it would ask to access my contacts. I could go here and put in a mailing list. But what I really am going to do, I can just type this in. So I can say this is to Amy Dawson. And I can put in my email address. So we'll just go ahead and put that in. Of course, it does not help that I have the world's longest email. That's why having a contact book would be probably best. And then I have, I can hit done. I'm not ready to send it yet. I can also add, and you'll see this down here at the bottom, this will allow us to add voice text. So I'm just going to pick one, and notice the record button comes up, and if I were to hit record, now I can talk into the recording. So if I had done a postcard, I could have a postcard that's been read. That's going to go there, and what's going to happen is, is when this is sent by email, it will turn around and that person will be able to hear it. Now the problem is, today I'm having some issues with our email server sending this, but it does work and it's an awesome tool to use.